Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. It is the most highly anticipated Let's Play ever. We're doing the third Phoenix Wright game, everyone! Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Trials and Tribulations. This is widely regarded as the best Phoenix Wright game. Okay. I personally disagree. Okay! I, I totally understand why. What is with his hair? And it's always like that. Does he have a beard? Look at the weird, like, icicle I, you, I used to think his... that. That's, like, his mouth. And, like, the black part in the middle is his mouth. And that's, like, the side part of his head. Oh! Oh, now I see it! I yeah! Thought, I thought that was his... <laughs> I, oh. thought, I thought that, too, though, to I was be like, fair. Ugh, that's just Yeah, Marty's disturbing. here with me. Hi! Again, as always, because this be? Let's Play would not be nearly as good without her. Because Thank she you. does great voices, and also she's the person who is doing this blind. So she's getting all the great reactions. Yeah! I don't know if he... Yeah, but... Probably. Th this game is... Significantly better than the other two. I mean, okay. I really like the first two games, but this is like... I mean, I th like, This I changes like the, the series, basically. Like, this sets okay. the standard for the future. This is definitely my second favorite game in the series, but I like a future game a little bit better. Just a little, a bit, little better. bit better crafted story. Okay. But this one's still amazing. All right. And also, I'm predicting within 30 seconds of the first case, you're already going to be like, Wait, what? <laughs> okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> Which is going to well, be great. let's just start. Let's just start. All right, let's I start. I want to see this. New game. We're on episode one. Turn about memories. Oh boy, this is gonna be something with like Maya's mom or something like, <laughs> honey, I can't be. Honey, with I'll, you. I'll be a little late because I'm thinking of Kayla's <laughs> present. She's like, yeah! <laughs> All right, I turned down the volume a little bit, so hopefully Probably. I won't get picked up on the microphone as much. Okay. Three, two, one, go. <sighs> rain. Just like uh, rain. How did I get into this mess? Oh, jeez. It always starts with this. Someone being murdered. Why? Why did I do that? Why did they do that? Oh! What's up? Dudes? Hanging out? Rain? That girl. You shouldn't see her anymore. Hey! It's none of your business! I'm telling you for your sake. If you continue to see her, it's going to be bad news. You're lying! Just listen to me. There's something you need to know about that girl. Okay. Stop it! D don't talk about her like that! Oops. Chick's a serial killer? Who knows? Oh! It, it wasn't me! I, I, I didn't! Why is Phoenix wearing his heart Phoenix Wright shirt? <laughs> I didn't do it! Oh, is this memories from the past? Wait a minute. Five years earlier, Mia Fey, second trial. Oh, so... We're playing as Mia. Okay, so Mia's face just like... Oh, gotta get this stupid kid out of this. <laughs> Since April 11th, 6.40 a.m., District Never Court, Defendant Lobby, number again. three. So you're gonna be doing most of the voicing for this case. Well then! <laughs> All right. Ugh, it's finally time. I'm kind of nervous. <clears throat> oh, it's that dude! Oh, Mr. Grossberg, good morning. Oh, uh, Mia, please calm yourself down. You're going to get yourself arrested for suspicious behavior, you know. What are you talking about? I'm, I'm relaxed, Mr. Grossberg. Look at me, I'm relaxed. <clears throat> Let go of my lapels. <clears throat> you obviously haven't got the temperament to be a lawyer. I... Uh, I'm so sorry. It's just that I'm so nervous today. Oh, that's right. This is your first time in the big leagues, isn't it? Well, never you fear, my dear. I, Marvin Grossberg, am at your service. Um, actually, this is my second time in court. Still, you surprised me. What with your earnest request last night. Let me handle this case, you suddenly said. And quite forcefully, too. I just found out yesterday about this case, I mean. What? And you've already learned all the relevant facts? Well, about that, you see, I mean, of course I have, I think. Oh dear. 
In any case, don't let our client see you are so nervous. You see the poor young man in the pink sweater over there? That's our client. <laughs> Howdy! <laughs> Corny there, everybody! <laughs> it's why is Phoenix he in, Wright from five years why ago. Why is he in pink? Is he a teenager? That's the. He's a college student. He's, He's a college a 20. student. <laughs> in his pink Phoenix Wright, my heart Phoenix Wright sweatshirt. Awesome. Apparently. Good morning. Try to keep smiling, Mia. I, er, I just want to say, I'll give it all I've got. Yep, I'll be, it'll be fine. No problem. Achoo, achoo, achoo. Uh, what's wrong? Do you have a cold or something, Mr. Rye? Rye? Rye. Rye. <laughs> Actually, it's right. Like, the Flying Brothers? People screw it up all the time. And yes, I have a cold. That's what this mask is for. My doc says this way, I won't give it to anyone else. Be kind to others, he says. I wish people would wear surgical masks more often. Because <laughs> you see it all the time for, like... I don't know, in other countries I've seen mm. that, and then like, in a, like, I don't know, in America, if you were wearing like a surgical <laughs> mask to the store, they'd be like, what is wrong with you? Do you have a contagious disease that will kill everyone? <laughs> I have Ebola. <laughs> I have Ebola. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> right, Mr. Wright, you have nothing to fear in court today. If you are truly innocent, I promise I will save you. Mm, please, let go of my shirt. <laughs> That's right, he's the one on trial, not you. He's the one who should be nervous. You need to stay strong for your client, Mia. No Maya, though. That sucks. No. My name is Mia Fey. I'm still pretty new at this lawyer thing. The first time I appeared in court was a year ago. But that trial traumatized me so badly I thought I'd never set foot in another courtroom. What'd she do?! What do you mean, what did she do? Maybe well, it was someone else. Maybe well, she went against Von Karma and he was mean to her. That's true. Or maybe they were just like, execute the witness in front of everyone! It's execute like, order, order 66. 66. It's been one year since then, and well, here I am again. But this time, this time I'll win. Yeah, it probably was Von Karma. For my client and for myself. Oh, I don't have to go through the settings and change stuff, do I? April 11th, 10 a.m., district court, courtroom number two. Actually, I'm just gonna look, take a quick look-see, because the sound settings seem a little odd. It's doing the weird, like, do, 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 half do, do, do. music. Yeah. When we were in slow times in the first, in the first part of the series. By the way, I should probably mention this. If you've never seen uh, the other games played, you might want to go back and mm -hmm. watch our Let's Play. Not that we're trying to plug, shameless <laughs> plug here, but you might want to either play the games previously because there's probably going to oh, be yeah. stuff that yes, comes up. Yes, it will spoil a lot of stuff in the old games. Anyhow, I'm going to try dual CPU uh, sync as async because okay. we're not running at 60 frames per second. Nope. All right. So ho hopefully that'll help. If Court, not, we can change it back. Oh, who's our prosecutor going to be? Is it going to be our favorite? Yup, it's Winston Payne! Court is now in session for the trial of Phoenix Wright. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Are you going to be Winston yep. Payne? The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Perfect. <laughs> the defense today is Miss... Miss Mia Fey, was it? Y yes, Your Honor. Is there a problem? I was under the impression that Marvin Grossberg was going to be leading the defense. Yes, well, you see, Mr. Grossberg had a bit of an emergency. Emergency? But isn't that him standing there right next to you? <laughs> Yes, well... You... you're just a rookie. Are you sure you can really handle this? Don't let him scare you, Mia. Give him your toughest look. Oh yeah. Of course, Your Honor. I think. It could be better, but you hey, know Mia. She's kind of she's kind of a phoenix right now. Kind of like, I, I got this, I think. Uh, wait, no, I'm that was scared. the wrong- that was the wrong piece of evidence. Oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, Mr. Payne, your opening statement, please. That's a lot younger, too. Well, well, well. Here. <laughs> I can't believe a veteran like me has to spend his time babysitting a new defense lawyer. Then why is it you're the first <laughs> lawyer in every game that just is terrible? <laughs> he's a bit cockier in this one. You're gonna find <laughs> out. He's, a, he's quite a bit cockier and quite a bit more competent in this case, actually. Okay. We're see. Finally. Don't worry, little girl. It will all be over soon. Wow. What was that all about? Was he trying to trash talk me? <laughs> Now then, I'd like to proceed with a summary of the events on the day in question. The incident occurred on the campus of Ivy University. Everybody's favorite. The murder victim was a student named Doug Swallow. 
He was a fourth year student studying pharmacology. Ah, oh, poor dude. Got through all that college to <laughs> die. Hmm. Sounds like he was a very bright young man. Yes, well, next we have a photo taken at the scene of the crime. Cool. Well, Phoenix isn't there. Students discovered the scene shortly after the murder. They found the victim's body. And the defendant, who had obviously bungled his getaway, then they called the police. Uh... Hmm. That certainly makes the defendant look very suspicious indeed. Very well. The court accepts this photo into the record as evidence. Cool. Crime photo one added to the court record. Maybe there will be a crime photo two? Perhaps. By the way, I can't quite tell the cause of death from this photo. Uh... <laughs> Your reputation for sagacity suggests that he is well earned, Your Honor. The truth is that this victim died a rather unusual death. An unusual death? What do you mean, Mr. Payne? Well, perhaps the defense would like to take this question. Wow. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for that, Mr. Payne. Huh? A simple question. I thought I might loosen you up a bit. That is not simple. I am a genteel man, if you will. Um, a what? Stand up to him, Mia. Show him what you're made of. Oh, perfect opportunity. Well, what was it? The cause. Go on. Well, if it's unusual, we gotta think very big. Please say you know at least this much. I'm sorry, I didn't get a chance to read through the whole file. Oh, you shouldn't have the whole file. My hemorrhoids are beginning to act up. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> now, see here. The details of the case are filed under the court record. Here <laughs> you go. But you knew that already, didn't you? Hold up. Let me just look. Ah, the court record. I think I can see that by touching the court record button. All of the weapons we need can be found in the court record. Thank you. Take a good, hard look at the data there and think carefully before you answer, my dear. Y yes, sir. I'll do just that. I've got to stay calm. I can't let that prosecutor get the best of me. The court record. Okay, let's take a look. I just touched the court record button here. Now then, would the attorney for the defense please answer the question? I've been waiting for two <laughs> minutes! <laughs> what was the cause of death? Alright, so... We can oh, go to I bet it's record. electrocution. So, attorney's badge, proof of my profession, the first and last time I used it was a year ago. Doug's autopsy report, date and time of death. I was right! Yep, the cause of death I was, like, was fatal it's electric shock. and there's the um, line above it, I was like, Elec electric shock. It was shock. at 3 p.m. <laughs> Crime photo. It was taken place at Ivy University. Great name for a college, by the way. Electrocution. This is like. Or actually, we'll come back to that later. What oh. are the What are the other ones mean? Uh, asphyxiation. I believe no that that's being like choked or strangled choked? to death. Okay. And then hypoform that's not hypofermia is really cold. And okay. as per the tradition, I do like choosing. Okay. Okay, I'm not gonna do this all the time. Okay. Because they're, they're, def they're definitely going to be parts where if I do the wrong choices, it will ruin the mood of the case, yeah, unfortunately. Sure. But for the first case, you gotta do it. Well, I think you'll find it was a case of asphyxiation. Hmm. Asphyxiation, huh? Mamiya, what are you saying? Well, it's stuffy in here. I can hardly breathe. No one's asking how you feel. Please make sure you properly read the court record. I'm so sorry. I'll take a better look. Hang in there, Mia. Open the court record with the court record button. Hmm, I'll ask you once again. Cause, of, cause death. of death. Oh look, we don't get penalized. Uh, hypothermia, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mr. Grossberg? Does it suddenly feel very cold in here to you? That's because your absurd reply has brought a chill to the courtroom. I- I'm so sorry. Look at the court record more carefully, would you? How can you expect to win a case this way? Hang in there, Mia. Open the court record with the court record button. <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall, wall just a little bit. I'll ask once again. Alright. According to the court record, it was a fatal electric shock. In other words, electrocution. Electrocution? Hmm, but how could such a thing happen? Well, gosh, maybe God <laughs> struck him with holy thunder. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, Zeus. <laughs> did, did the murderer use some type of new, super powerful stun gun, perhaps? Was the murderer Von Karma again with Taser? <laughs> <laughs> the answer to that will become crystal clear as this trial proceeds, Your Honor. But before that, there is one more vital issue. What's that? Why, motive, of course. Apparently, there was some bad blood between the victim and the defendant. Oh! had was- oh, hey, man, maybe you shouldn't date this girl. No way! Kill. That's it! That's it! Like, there's nothing that would be like, 
killed in blood, murder, killed death. in blood. <laughs> Cold blood, that's what I meant. Bad blood. Killed in blood. What do you mean? Oopsie, I'm terribly sorry. You're the defense attorney, so you must know all about it. I shouldn't be stealing your spotlight like this. Well, I'm great. I really don't like this guy's smug attitude. That's Winston Payne for you. He is one smooth operator, if you catch my Hold dreams. up, I do want to check the court record. How old is Winston Payne? <laughs> we'll check it, because we'll, we'll check okay. it in just a little bit. They don't call him the rookie killer for nothing, you know. Wait, he can because... kill rookies, but not really anybody. More else. like the rookie killed. <laughs> Whoa, killed okay. by the rookie. Okay. Now then, let's hear from the defense. What was the source of the bad blood between the victim and the defendant? Good thing we could see the past. <laughs> Good thing we were hiding behind the trash cans to witness the- What? <laughs> How else? It's like, oh, good thing we had this little foreshadowing thing oh, yeah, between yeah. the two people. It's like, how else would we know that? And this time I would like to see some supporting evidence. Cool. E evidence? Oh, no need to get all worked up over this. As I said, all our weapons can be found in the court record. Find the evidence you need and then shove it into old Greybeard's face. Cool. Yes, sir. In old Greybeard's face. Er, uh, Mr. Grossberg, try to set a better example for the young lady. Mia, evidence isn't the only thing in the court record. People's profiles are as well. Perfect. You can toggle between the profiles and evidence, so be sure to go over it all. Perfect. Now then, let's see what you've got. What was the cause of the bad blood between Phoenix Wright and the victim? So yeah, we'll have to go to the Profiles. So we got Grossberg, age 61. 61. Okay, hang on. Yeah, our, our sound. Whew. I love slow music. Slow music. No. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. So I've got Marvin Grossberg, 61, my, my superior and the head of, of Grossberg Law Offices. Yeah. Phoenix Wright, 21, my client, a third year art student at Ivy University. He's not a lawyer, he's an art student. That would make sense. No, that would actually. No, that wouldn't make sense with the past, because he was literally like, oh my gosh, because this dude saved me from the lunch money incident, I'm gonna become a lawyer! <laughs> Maybe, well, hold up. There's so little when, bit of a wreck I, I can't, I can't remember, um, normally in order to become a lawyer, you need to go, not to lawyer school, but like, you need like a specific degree. Yeah. Normally you can't get a BA in that, right? No, it requires a whole lot of extra okay, schooling. Okay, so maybe also... it's like you could, he's being an art student and then he's gonna go to like Harvard or whatever. Harvard in Japan? <laughs> What's Harvard in Japan? Harvard. <laughs> Japan University. Japan University. School That's University. It. Doug Swallow, he was 22. The victim, he was a fourth year pharmacology student at Ivy University. What's a pharmacology? Dahlia Hawthorne, 20. Phoenix Wright's girlfriend dated what? the victim, Doug Swallow, up until eight months ago. What? I didn't know they dated. Or were dating? <laughs> are dating? Hawthorne. Wait, so that girl's not the girl who killed dude. Wait, what? No, so the, D Doug is dead. Doug is dead. He... she didn't kill him, right? Right, she's just Phoenix she's Wright's just girlfriend. She's just Phoenix Wright's girlfriend, which And she no used sense. to date the guy who died. Okay. So she's just, she's just dating everybody. <laughs> I'm 49, but I look a lot older than <laughs> His a prosecutor hair, for this trial, floppy. a veteran lawyer with a little too, too much, much confidence. confidence. Great. Well, about oh, there's nothing for me. Yet. So that's yeah. No. Well, I can't. I hope Phoenix Wright's girlfriend appears. It's just like <laughs> ah, Phoenix Wright. Apparently that didn't work out. Apparently. <laughs> it's like Max and Roxanne from the Goofy movie. <laughs> I forgot about Max and Roxanne. I liked those two. They were cute. And then they were just like, and no. And then the go extremely Goofy movie comes out and retcons everything. And then they were like, no, poetry girl. Who never has a poetry name. girl? <laughs> she was beret girl. Beret girl. Well, she she's like she, she's the slam poet. Haiku. Yeah. yeah. Anyhow, enough about the goofy movie. <laughs> so, what's the source of the bad blood? Well, between Phoenix Wright and the victim, maybe the, the girlfriend. That's Since a good dated. option. <laughs> Actually, though. <laughs> he he was Mr. Pain. Mr. Grossberg. I honestly think it would be best for the defense if you were in charge. I'm afraid Miss Faye might stir up some bad blood with this court if she were to continue. Or simply put, you are quite mistaken, my dear. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Even if you are new, your lack of preparation is inexcusable. I had a day! 
Yeah. It takes a while to look over court evidence. <laughs> now take a moment and think it over again. Y yes, Your Honor. It's okay. You got another chance, Mia. Mia, evidence isn't the only thing in the blah, court blah, record. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, is, is it his girlfriend? Yeah, it's his girlfriend. Take that! That sounds terrible! I know, Mia's voice in this is awful. Take that! I'm Southern! <laughs> What? Exactly. Not Southern, it's just not really like, high-pitched. No, that's not high-pitched. I was I was thinking it was- Take that! No, I was like- <laughs> Artie had told me that Mia's objection voice is terrible before this, and I thought it would be like almost like a Princess Peach, like, take that! Like, I thought I it wish. would be more like that. <laughs> wow. I should totally replace that with Peach's. Take, take that! <laughs> <laughs> At some point. The reason for the bad blood between the two of them was this woman here. Dahlia Hawthorne, is it? Very good, Miss Faye. You seem to have picked up on at least this much. This woman is the girlfriend of the defendant, Phoenix Wright. Oh my god! But up until about eight months ago, she was with the victim, Mr. Swallow. Clearly, she has some part to play in this story. Guess oh, oh, oh. It's oh college girlfriend, drama. whoa. Hmm. Oh, uh, he's done it again. Before the cross-examination starts, he's already got the judge thinking like he wants. Oh, well. Very well, Mr. Payne. Please call your first witness. <gasps> Please let it be her. If it pleases the court, the prosecution would like to call Mr. Phoenix Wright. Fine. What? The defendant himself? Well, Miss Fay? It's fine. After all, Mr. Wright's innocent, right? The defense has no objection. I would have an objection. <laughs> Bring on her gr the girlfriend. No, I want to see the girlfriend. <laughs> I want to see the girlfriend. You go, girlfriend. Very well. You go, girlfriend. Yeah. The court calls Mr. Phoenix Wright to the witness stand. In his pink sweatshirt. <laughs> He does kind of look like an art student a little bit. <laughs> Witness, please state your name and occupation. Oh, uh, yes. My name is Phoenix Wright. Name? My, is Phoenix my job is, um, well, right now I guess I'm a suspect. No! No, you're, no. <laughs> you're Larry all over again. <laughs> he means, what did you do before you were arrested? Oh. Achoo! 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 Uh, I was a university student. Mr. Wright, you understand that you are suspected in the death of your fellow student, Doug Swap. But... But I didn't do it! I'm innocent, I tell you! Cool. I'm telling you I was- Achoo! 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 Would the defendant please refrain from passing on his cold to the rest of us? It seems the witness has something he wants to say. Hmm. Well then, Mr. Wright, please tell us about your relation to the victim. Right away, Your Honor! So here's the real question. Does the entire game take place, like, five years before where it's like, I was training with Mia. We were having a great time. <laughs> I was leaping alone. Leap, leap, leap. leap. <laughs> Te witness testimony. The victim and, and I. I. <laughs> like wicked. Um, I, I admit I was there, but I'm not a killer. All I did was find his body. Cool. I hardly knew the guy to begin with. Uh, I never even talked to that stuck-up British wannabe. Is he British? <laughs> Of course, mate. <laughs> I don't even know. I think there's like three problems with that. He did talk to him. And I don't know if he's British. And, yeah. British wannabe. He wasn't actually British. He just wanted oh. to be. Hmm. I see. So you hardly knew the I victim. Think... Right. Like I said, I'm not a killer. Cool. <sighs> Looks like the judge understands. Mm, you're being naive, you know. Too naive. What? Huh? <laughs> it seems that you've forgotten one small thing, young lady. And that would be? This witness still has to undergo something called cross-examination. Okay, so we cross-examine him. Cross-examination. He's right, and it's the defense's duty to carry out the cross-examination. That's not a problem! The purpose is to determine if a witness's testimony contains any contradictions. Contradictions? If a witness is lying, their statements will conflict with the court record. But, Mr. Wright is my client! Even if he is your client, in court all lies must be struck down. As a lawyer, that is your duty, you see. Right. What does he mean by that? Is he saying that the testimony just now... There was a lie? A contradiction? Now then, your cross-examination, if you please, Miss Faye. Please, Mr. Wright, tell me you haven't been lying. I mean, What's up with the sound? He wouldn't do that to me. Would you? Cross-examination. The victim and I. Yeah, how long have we been going? Phoenix, oh, pff, Phoenix Wright time. loves himself. I admit I was there. Cool. 
Oh, that doesn't sound bad. When yeah, you say does. there, you mean the place where the victim was murdered. You, yeah, sort of. The place where something happened anyway. Something? You can't hide what happened! We have photographic evidence! Achoo! 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 <laughs> anyway, Mr. Wright, <laughs> what were you doing at the scene of the crime? I thought you said you didn't know the victim, Mr. Swallow. It was just a coincidence! We bumped into each other by accident. A coincidence, huh? I'm not a killer! All I did was... You say you found the body, so who called the police? Huh? Um... Achoo! <coughs> Achoo! Who needs a phone? <laughs> Unfortunately, it was some other students that notified the police. Other students? That's correct. They were witnesses. Witnesses who saw the defendant standing there next to the body in shock. If you're in- oh, yeah. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> so if, if you're in shock, of course you wouldn't be like, call police. You'd be like, my friend. Or <laughs> my, my uh, fellow pharma- what is, what is he? Pharmacology. Like? Pharmacology student. No! <laughs> it's supposed to- it's like pharmaceuticals, I believe. I, all I could think of was pharmacy. Yeah, I think oh, it's, it's like that? I think it's like that. It's like chemistry oh, kind of thing. I thought of either like pharmacy or like farmers like studying. Not farmers, nope. <laughs> it definitely has okay. to deal with chemistry. Well, shock. Oh, no, no, that was a great point. Oh, he's, he's got big old <laughs> pants. What? what? Is this true, Mr. Wright? A chew! A chew! A chew! A chew! A chew! A chew! Could you stop sneezing every time you're in a bind? W well, it's true that I was pretty shocked when I found the body. B but I. I hardly knew the guy to begin with. Ugh. Hold it. So, you didn't know his face or even his name, right? Right! Um, well, no. That is, I mean... So, which is it? Do you know him or do you not know him? Achoo! 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 Now see here, you can't avoid answering the question by sneezing all day. <laughs> uh, um, well, I guess I did know his name. News to me? Why didn't he tell me that before? Um, I heard he used to date Dolly. Who is this Dolly person? Dolly Parton. <laughs> <laughs> He's the a Dolly Parton. It's kind of a big deal. <laughs> ah, yes, that would be the defendant's lover, Miss Dahlia Hawthorne. Oh, I see. Ah, young love, so bittersweet. He's like 21, that's not young. <laughs> but that's all I knew about him. Cool. I never even talked to that stuck-up British wannabe. Mr. Wright, you stated the following in your testimony. I hardly knew the guy to begin with. That's right! I mean, why would I even- But that doesn't sound right. If you knew, hardly knew him, then why would you say that the victim was a stuck-up British wannabe? Achoo! <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. Wright- Ah! No! It wasn't me! I'm not a killer, I swear! Not good. Mr. Wright, I will give you an opportunity to revise your testimony. How is it that you knew the victim was, as you put it, a British wannabe? Y yes well... He was always walking around with a huge Union Jack on the back of his shirt. Union Jack? It's like the UK flag. Oh, okay. Did you see it at the crime scene? The Union Jack, I mean. Y yes that's right! I saw it at the crime scene. That's why- that's why I figured he must love British stuff, see? It's true! Cross my heart! He must love the British! I swear I didn't do it! <laughs> He's acting fishier than the salmon I ate last night. May I ask you something, Miss Faye? Yes, Your Honor. What is it now? Who is this person, anyway? This Union Jack fellow? The Union Jack is the name of the flag of England. Oh, I see. So you mean like the Stars and Stripes, right? As usual, Your Honor, your insight astounds or me. Orange pants. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> The white with red dots. <laughs> Isn't that the Rising Sun? Rising Sun. Yeah. Something just occurred to me. Isn't there something strange about this bit just now? Mia, there is a contradiction here. Mr. Grossberg! Quickly now, show that boy you mean business. With evidence, I mean. Okay, Mia, check the court record carefully. <laughs> well, my dear, do you think you can manage this on your own at this point? I can handle myself. I need some help. <laughs> I think we need some help. <laughs> I think we need some help. 
Um, um Mr. Grossler, <laughs> I could use a little help. Ah, uh, please don't look so sad. It brings a tear to my eye when you do. Alright, listen carefully. By comparing the testimony to the court record, you should be able to discover any contradictions, if there are any. That's not help! That's talking! <laughs> and when you found one... I present the piece of evidence that contradicts the witness's testimony? Yes, that's the ticket. But still, I don't see any contradictions in Mr. Wright's testimony. Hmm, maybe you don't have enough information yet. Information? You can press for more information by leaning on a witness. So, what? what's up? <laughs> Mar Marty was like physically leaning, leaning on, on you on just it. then. Even if they're my own client? It doesn't matter who it is. If you think they're lying, press them like a cheap suit. That's the obligation of an attorney. Okay, Mia, one more time from the very beginning of his testimony. Take well, it from the top! Practice makes perfect. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> a chew, a chew, a chew. I wish that that was one of the things that what you could press was him sneezing. <laughs> a chew, a chew. Objection! A chew Take some cold medicine. Jeez. <laughs> um. Okay. A union Jack. Yeah. Let's look it's at like Farmer that. Jack. Let's... Or worse. Actually, better. better. I'm sorry, better. Let's look at the picture. Do do do. Wait, on the doo -doo. back of his shirt. I just see a jacket. Like, hmm. just like, plain old rain jacket. So, yeah, what is that? Nope. No. <sighs> Are you certain you saw the Union Jack? Y yeah I'm sure. It was right there on his back. Miss Faye, is there some point to this line of questioning? Your Honor, please take another look at the crime scene photo. As you can see, there's absolutely nothing written on the victim's back. Hey! Wait a minute! He's wearing a leather jacket! The Union Jack was on the back of the t-shirt he was wearing. I was under the impression that you accidentally came across the body. But if that was really the case, then you wouldn't know that, would you? You have no idea at all what he was wearing underneath the jacket! Mr. Wright, you've been lying to me! Examination. Thank you for uncovering the defendant's lies for me. It's quite clear that this man did not simply stumble upon the scene of the crime. Uh-oh. Did I go too far? No, you're perfect. By the way, Mr. Wright, you seem to have a rather bad cold. Have you taken any medicine for it? No. I, uh, um, yeah, I took some, but... Was the medicine that you took an over-the-counter brand called Cold Killer X? Yeah, that's right! It kills colds good! Hey, wait a second. How did you know I'm a big fan of Cold Killer X? <laughs> Would you happen to have that medicine with you right now? No. Well, actually, I seem to have lost it somewhere. Oh my gosh. He lost it? Does that even... Does this even have anything to do with the case? Mr. Wright, shall I tell you where your cold medicine is right now? Huh? Your Honor, I'd like you to take another photo from the crime scene. What was this? In the victim's hand, it's... Cold it's Cold Killer X. Yes, but even I've got a bottle of Cold Killer X in my apartment. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't do this to me, game. <laughs> the game's like... <laughs> Oh, man. I don't know how to fix that. I'll have to look into that after the episode. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid that argument won't work. There's no doubt as to who this bottle of Cold Killer X belonged to. Especially since Mr. Wright's fingerprints were all over it. What?! Sensing his murderous intent, Mr. Swallow must have picked up the bottle of medicine, dropped by Mr. Wright, and hid it in his hand. His purpose in doing so can only have been what? to identify his killer as being That is so far-fetched. A little bit, yeah. 
Maybe like Phoenix Prime was like, dude, you've been. <laughs> Here's my theory. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> the dude was like, okay, I'm gonna go out on this date with this girl, uh, whoever the girl is. And Phoenix Wright was like, no, dude, that's bad news. And he waits in the rain forever for this girl, and she never shows up, and Phoenix Wright comes back, and he's just like, see, I told you, you shouldn't have been with this girl. Here, you need some cold killer X, because <laughs> you have a cold. And then, thunder strikes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is super far-fetched. <laughs> it's less far-fetched than that. I don't know, maybe the girl, but maybe the girl, had, like, came up then had an electric taser. <laughs> okay, well, two very different theories. <laughs> We're in the court. Your Honor, I'd like to present this photo and bottle as evidence. Very well. The court will accept them into the record. Cool. Crime photo 2 added to the court record. Ooh. Cold Killer X added to the court record. Also, the victim's wristwatch was broken. But the, the what? Broken? Yes, it ceased functioning when a large wave of electricity passed oh, through it. Oh, okay. Well, Mr. Wright, do you have some kind of explanation for all of this? I wasn't there. Uh, this is really bad. Oh, my buttocks, my poor, poor hemorrhoids. <laughs> Witness testimony. What really happened? The truth is, I went because he called me. He was in the pharmacology department, so we agreed to meet at 2.45 behind that building. We talked for a bit, and then at around 3 o'clock we split up. Then later when I went back, I found him lying there. I'd been taking Cold Killer X for the last two or three days, but I lost my bottle of it at around lunchtime on the day of the accident. Mr. Wright, that's completely different from the <laughs> testimony you gave previously! Achoo! 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 Uh, I'm sorry, Your Honor. I was afraid you wouldn't believe the truth. You will forgive me if I say I hardly find your current testimony any more credible. Hmm. Miss Faye, please begin your cross-examination. Oh, please, Mr. Wright, don't tell any more lies. Uh, clearly you don't know witnesses, Mia. Witnesses lie, like, 20 times, and the judge is like, Oh, well, I guess that's I just the way lie. it is. Perjury, <laughs> perjury's not a thing that exists in this area. Anyhow, I think that's a good stopping point, because right. we're, it's around the half hour mark, and I don't want, like, oh, hour and 20 minute video. Yeah, that would be <laughs> Even bad. though some people might like that. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. This is going to be an amazing Let's Play series. I hope you tune in for next time. We're going to cross-examine Phoenix some more, and who knows, maybe Dahlia will make an appearance. I hope. I want to hear her. <laughs> I want to do her, actually, like, the, the voice. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I was about to say, you might want nope, to rephrase do her that. voice. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, tune in next time for more of that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.